Why can't you be more of a leader like MP? <laughs> Why are you going to be so gosh darn selfish all the time? <laughs> Man, anyone looking up to that bum now? Good luck leading a team when you buried on the bench. <laughs> but you know who I really feel sorry for? Like, Ooh. honestly, his girl. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> All these NBA right? players. You stuck with that clown? I mean, realistically, man, he probably got a whole closet full of cardigans and pleated khakis. Right? <laughs> <laughs> She'll figure it out. Mm. Speaking of, yo, Mila, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, I yeah. am not touching that one. Look, this episode is going to do numbers, bro. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> hey, hey, Chef, any final words you want to say to MP, you know, before the camera dies? Because we're making this fire content right now. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I just want to say, your gang's trash, oh, oh. your agent's trash, mm. your girl's trash, mm. and you're trash. Oh. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Girl, agent, no. I think you got that covered, buddy. And the mm. next time I see you, I'm going to tell you that to your face. Other than that, you know, uh, just wishing you many blessings, brother. Nigga! We're still very early in the season. What are these teams right now doing to maintain success through the year? Well, this is the time for coaches. Getting ready for the Whistlers. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Pazingas. Hachimura comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Martin's checked in for Avdia. And Monte Morris subbed in for DeLon Wright. Chicago also making some changes. Drummond comes in for Williams. And Junior subbed in for Lonzo Ball. So for Chicago right now, Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. Andre Drummond is out there with Vucevic. And it's Junior in at point guard. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Ties it up, and this next one would give them the lead. Of course, last season was a tough one for the Wizards. What was the biggest missing ingredient that you saw? Well, I think there were so many things going on with the organization, Kevin. First and foremost, you brought in Wes Unseld as your coach. It was a great move, but obviously you have to institute an entirely new system on both ends of the floor. Obviously, they had some key personnel that were hurt during periods of the season. So a lot of new faces across the board for this team. So much went into their struggles. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's First early in Rui Hachimura's back. career, but this Third young man has back. proven capable on the interior. The he will never Washington. shy away from Whoa. contact. Hachimura hits them both. And Chicago has possession. Pass to Junior. Bulls moving the ball around. Now Caruso. DeRozan with it. Guarded now by Morris. <laughs> the bucket and he's got a free throw coming up as well i am simply blown away by his accuracy he has made every shot and what's most important his team is winning and he's got his first chance at the line here free throw shooting not an area he has worried about at all how about last year 88 percent from the line pass to barton Poke loose and stolen by Junior. DeRozan passes to Junior. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. Really uh, the right Second play defensively back. if you can't block. That force him to the line. Goes. Chicago Number shooting 19. their second and third shots Two at shots. the line right here. Free throw good, Junior. And you look at MP, you have to think back to his very successful college career, Greg was an outright star at that level. Yeah, stayed three years before making the jump to the NBA. You don't see that too often nowadays, but he won a college championship and had nothing left to prove. Wizards trail by five. 
Morris kicks to Beal. Pass to Gaff. Knocked loose. Over Drummond. Here's Morris. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. To the paint. And the first time out, the game called for Chicago. Now, let's go to Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Had a chance to talk with head coach Wes Unsell Jr. Thanks, Kevin. He said when you're going against a team that can dominate like this one inside, you have to really play great help defense, communicate, and double team, but only when it makes sense. It's a little bit of a chess match, but it's a physical one, guys. Thank you, David. Junior dishes to Green. Drummond trying to get himself free. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is up and in. And the Bulls lead by five. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Outside, Beal. Martin from outside. It's all in by the Bulls. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. And missing your free throws usually changes the complexion of a game. Certainly did in that one. You know this. Nothing gets a crowd into the game more than a bunch of missed free throws. That's one of the worst things you can do on the road. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Washington's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. There's the pass to Hachimura. Barton outside. And DeRozan sends it back. But to mark DeRozan, really strong effort on the defensive end. Pays off by sending that opportunity back. Now, here's Junior, covered by Morris. Junior, the pass to Drummond. And it's Drummond with the jam. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Back to Morris. To the inside, Beal. Good! Beal's got six. Boy, that is just tremendous concentration from Bradley Beal. Defense all over him, no problem. Junior with it. He's against Morris. Good work defensively by Morris. Wizards trail by four. Here's Hachimura. Barton kicks to Morris. Beyond the arc. The shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Now, here's Junior, covered by Morris. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. One thirty-five left to play in the first. Six on the shot clock. Junior the pass to Caruso. Drummond trying to get himself free. Caruso, no good. Rebounded by Gafford. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Here's Junior. A shot off that time. Good work defensively by Hachimura. Martin passes to Gaffney, and the layup's good off the glass. Hey, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Now, here's Junior, covered by Morris. Here's Truman. They kick it out to Green. To the left side wing. Another shot. And Junior with the basket on the assist from Green. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Back to Beal. This one for three. It's the three-point bomb. 
Beal's got nine. The Bulls with the lead. And here's Junior. Eight points his last outing. Caruso, the pass to Junior. Rebounded by Gafford. Martin from outside. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's DeMar DeRozan making highlights for Chicago. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. And we'll be right back after this. DC Ben, a big round of applause. And close to... for Washington. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Hachimura comes in for Avdia. Bradley Beal's checked in for Will Barton. And it's right in for Monte Morris. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Andre Drummond's checked in for Patrick Williams. DeMar DeRozan comes in for Sarah Levine. Kobe White, he's checked in for Dosumu. And Junior subbed in for Lonzo Ball. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Green, he's checked in for Chicago. They've got Daniel Gafford. Chris Stapps Porzingis is out there with Hachimura. Then it's DeLon Wright. And it's Beal in at the two spot. That's the five on the floor for the Wizards. That one good for two. Porzingis has got the lead up to 12 now for the Wizards. Well, this is an aspect where Porzingis has been criticized, not rebounding with authority, but boy, he does so there. Here's Junior. Will it go? Here's Drummond. And the rejection by Gafford. Beal gets a wide open look. The three-pointer no good. Bulls trail by 12. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch oh, offensively, no. for sure. 19. Attacking Assisted in transition, the most Kobe consistent White. way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Right, looking around. Back to Gafford, just four to shoot. Deep three-point range. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. And that's the first game in a string of three straight at home. Bobbed up there for Green. And Green slams it in. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys. And it serves him just fine. Hachimura finds Gafford. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second GA, he's asked to carry a big time scoring, but Bradley Beal makes his teammates better as well. And that's an area, Kevin, he has really grown. And his playmaking, when the defense overcommits, you make them pay with the pass. Martin's checked in for the Wizards. And the Bulls making a change also. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Javante Green. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. And home court advantage can give teams a huge lift. Greg, how different is it playing in front of the hometown fans? It's huge. I mean, they give you energy. You don't want to let them down. So you tend to dig a little deeper when you're playing at home. Boy, one thing you can say about Andre Drummond, he is so steady. Statistically, it's the same story every year. Now here's Barton. Tight defense on him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First person. Andre Drummond picks one up. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. Will Barton. That one misses. Bulls trail by nine. Caruso, the pass to Junior. 
inside. And Andre Drummond, the bucket on the assist by Junior. Drummond's got seven points in the game. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. Well, they knew exactly how to approach that defense. They shot a fantastic percentage because they got quality looks. The subject of trade rumors year after year Beal has the skill set every team is looking for. for the well, he's elite at scoring the basketball, and he understands when and how to create for the players around him. There's only a handful of guys in this league who can do what he does with his level of consistency. Junior the pass to Drummond, and it's Drummond with the jam. Uh, it's just too easy for Andre Drummond. Gets the inside position and leaves no doubt. Here's Beal. He picked up 36 points in the last one against Indiana. Right outside. Here's Gafford. The Wizards with another miss. Bulls trail by six. White dishes to Junior. Shot clock at six. Drummond in the post, covered by Gafford. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Drummond. In the short break, and the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, thanks very much. Now, Kristaps Porzingis famously earned the nickname the Unicorn for his combination of size and skill. A former All-Star, injuries have held him back. But now a new team presents a new opportunity. KP says, I'm going to take my game to the next level because my body is going to be healthy. That's it. Well, Kevin, let's hope so. Absolutely. He has had injuries along the way. But the talent is obvious. David, thanks. What you appreciate about DeLon Wright is he knows his role and he's willing to star in his role. And the other part about it is he's been committed to his own development. It's good, and the Washington lead is cut to just five points in the basket from Vucevic. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. Hachimura kicks to Barton. Wizards need to get a shot off here. And that one's good. Right. Boy, DeLon Wright with great range. What a shot. Here's Caruso. And he banks in the lane. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Wizards leading by six. Beal the pass to Barton. Now here's Gafford. Bounce pass from right. Gafford trying to break free. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Vucevic. Well, you know Rui wants to score it. He will not retreat in the face of some tough defense. Nicely done. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Taking two seconds. Hachimura hits them both. Bulls trail by eight. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Junior with it. Right on. And Drummond throws it down. That's this is done. what we call strength from a veteran big man. Andre Drummond, no stranger to taking punishment and scoring through it. Beal against Caruso. Right outside. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leading, you could see his second more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. And so it's Washington with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've done a lot of great work from long range. We've got more in store for you right after this.
second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Without question, Kyle Kuzma displaying his skills today. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Ball and Levine are the guard set. Andre Drummond is out there with Williams, and it's Junior in at the three spot. Now, here's Avdia. He's guarded close. Here's Persingis. And it's Chicago with the rebound. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. And that Number one's 19. good, Junior. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Pass to Avdia. Right with it. Kicks to Avdia. Outside, Brzingis. On the three off target. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Washington foul. Kyle Kuzma. For Chicago, they have gone five and seven from the free throw line in the game. First team foul. And they shot 81% from the line last season as a team, so you really can't find fault with two. what they're able to do there. Vucevic checked in for Chicago. And it's tied up with that one. Here's Beal. He's got 11. Right outside. Oh, Beal in position. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Knocked away. Junior dishes to Williams. Now, Junior. He's got 10. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And stolen by Kuzma. And the wide open shot from Avdia. Drills it from outside. Avdia's got his second bucket of the night. They've given up a lot of three pointers here today. Ball, the pass to Junior. Pass to Vucevic. Over Perzingis. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. This guy's so polished inside. Nikola Vucevic is great at being assertive and earning these fouls. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Przingis. Will Barton comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And Monte Morris subbed in for Wright. Chicago also making some changes. Andre Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Junior comes in for Patrick Williams. And it's Alex Caruso in for ball. Gafford finds Barton. Over Levine. Here's Gafford. Outside for Beal. Connects from three-point range. Beal's got nine points now on the quarter. I love the confidence of Bradley Beal in rhythm, in the catch-and-shoot game. So good. Not as good in the Wizards' lead. He's got down now to just six in the basket from Junior. Just a late reaction there from the defense. He is always going to finish that one. Martin with it. Now defended by Levine. Morris outside. Five on the clock. Now, here's Junior. 12 points for him. Levine's shot is off. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. 
Been and not the most time. common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. And Washington Doris making a change. Porzingis has checked in. And Doris went help. Do you think Porzingis can still be an all-star caliber player in this league? Yeah, you know what, Kevin? I absolutely do. Porzingis very capable nightly of giving you 20 and 10. And it's 7'3", because he can space up and make jump shots. He is always valuable. The key to me is to then stay healthy and make sure you're locked in defensively. He can be a great shot blocker. I think he needs to lock in there. At the line. Good on the second free throw. Here's Morris. He's got nine. 157 left in the third quarter. Barton outside. Here's Avdia. And the layup falls. Avdia has got five points now this quarter. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. I think I can make the case that DeMar DeRozan finishes with the contact like a big man. This guy is tremendous at end one opportunities. DeMar DeRozan. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle steps for Washington? Great game for them offensively. I mean, coaches love seeing multiple shots per possession and then converting those second chance opportunities. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Barton kicks to Morris. Porzingis with the ball, now defended by Levine. And here's the break. Here's Junior. Count it and the foul. Denny Avdia picks one up. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Williams is checked in for Alex Caruso. Shooting one. And that one misses. And staying healthy for Porzingis has been a challenge over his career. Not uncommon for players standing well above seven feet. And in New York, even before his injuries, the front office voiced concerns about Porzingis' ability to stay healthy. Well, the, the track record for players 7 2 and up, not great. And, and today's game demands more movement from big men than ever before. Junior, the pass to Levine. That one's Number good, and the Washington lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Junior. Boy, what a thing of beauty by DeMar DeRozan. His eyes are up. He locates his teammate just so pretty. Passes to Abdiya. Barton, wide open. He fires, and another miss by Washington. It's amazing the success they've had with him shooting this way. Zero for the night. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. Here's Persingas. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Morris has got six assists here tonight. Well, this is what you want to see. It's 7-3. Kristaps Porzingis finished through contact. Is good Number and the Wizards' 19. lead has got down to four points. The basket there from Junior. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer. Ooh. Oh, that's unbelievable. Mm. How about putting on a show? Bradley Beal, the aerial improvisation. And so it's the Washington Wizards with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Let's take a listen to a recent huddle from Coach Billy Donovan. We got to now start to anchor down defensively right now. Trust each other and trust the load. It's not just one-on-one -on -one defense. It's together. A little help from your friends. This is what Billy wants. He wants a lot of communication, wants teamwork. And uh, guys, you were talking during that break to think his team is listening. Well, you know, you also have to credit the other team. And I always say, you know, they get checks on the 1st and 15th also. I mean, the offensive play calling is having an effect. And let's just see how they respond. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Kuzma will step in at the four. Porzingis at center. 
Bradley Beal is out there with Wright, and it's Barton in at the three, the small four. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. And Williams throws it down. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. And the pass to Kuzma. Good as Peel picking up the assist. Peel's got three assists That's now it. in this one. This is how you capitalize in close. You see Kyle Kuzma, this guy just has instincts and a knack for putting the ball in the basket. Junior the pass to Williams. And the slam by Williams. Oh, up high and down hard <laughs> with that one-hander. He got a little extra forceful. You're right with that one. Back to Beal. Martin left side. Right, right side. Oh, good on the triple. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Down low. Now, here's Junior, guarded by Wright. Vucevic to the pass to Junior. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First person at that. First team. Foul. And the first one at the line is good. Abdiaz checked in for Washington. Number 19. Taking Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And it's right with the ball for Washington. Beal from long range, and the three ball is good. Beal's got 29 in the game. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Wizards leading by eight. Abdiaz with it. Porzingis, that's a two. And he overshot that one, missing. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Porzingis. Second person of that. First one falls for Ayo Dosumu is checked in. Check in for the ball. The Junior comes in for ball. Here's Brzingis. Kuzma outside. To the middle. Avdia gets to right. Pass to Avdia. Shot clock at five. Over DeRozan. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Now, here's Junior. Defense is right there. And it's Vucevic in the corner. Beal from long range trains the three-pointer. Beal's got 35. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Chicago calls timeout. Time it's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, DeMar DeRozan. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. The dish to Junior. Pass to Vucevic. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. Wow, Vucevic with the big time delivery. The Montenegrin says, that's my shot. Right outside. Passes it to Avdia. Wizards passing it around. And here's Perzingis.
right outside. Seven foot shot, and Washington again with the bucket. What a high percentage look for DeMond Wright. What an opportunity, and he finishes. And the dunk by DeRozan. Oh my goodness, you could tell DeMar DeRozan demanded the basketball. He wanted the chance to be the deciding factor. Levine against Beal. Outside, fires from deep. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Williams and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second, yeah, easy call. First free throw is good, and that brings them within two. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. Levine dishes to Junior to tie it up. And again, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Yeah, how about the bucket to tie with the D just all over him. The free throw to give them the lead. Just that fantastic play all around. And the shot goes in from Kristaps Porzingis. Oh, you love the aggressiveness and the swagger that Porzingis has to take that shot. Such a clutch play from the Latvian. Junior the pass to Williams. He kicks it to Vucevic. Arder Rosen on the wing. To the inside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Porzingis. And they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. Number 19, taking two shots. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives them the lead. Yeah, critical that he's able to convert there. Now they've taken the lead. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're trailing by one. 52 seconds left to play here in the fourth. DC Valley, it's Caesar time. Make some noise if you want to. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. During that break, Coach Russ Unsell Jr. had some advice for the team. He told them, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls, get into the basket. We have to give it all right now. Thank you, David. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Junior, the pass to Williams. Count it! How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Beal against Levine. And Beal gets the right. The pass to Kuzma. Uncovered. The offensive rebound. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Beal the pass to Persingas. The second chance effort. Missed. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. It's the first man to put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Yeah, how about the nerves there? Those free throws put them in a very good position. Three points clear. Washington calls timeout. They're behind by three. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Long range from the inbound. Count it! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. Mark will get the pressure on Bradley Beal at his absolute best. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over.
There's Junior. And closing the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. It's on Porzingis. And they had a foul to give, but they want to use it on the ground. Taking two shots. He sinks the clutch free throw. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. That's just clutch work, really. That's all you can say. A little bit of D now, and they'll be out of here with the win. And time expires. Fantastic defensive play to seal the win. The the and game. so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. Thank you to everyone they break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic Please late victory. And, and Kevin, game. this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. What up, Ash? Press? No. Uh... I gotta show you something. Just watch this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's MP stand for anyway? Sounds like a phone to me. <laughs> Y'all got that MP29? <laughs> that, that Nokia joint? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I think it stands for mostly pathetic. No, 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 no. <laughs> Major poser. <laughs> Missed the point. <laughs> <laughs> Musty pillow. Oh! <laughs> Yo, why is that so funny, though? I think it's because she's an agent. Usually they're not funny. They're just suits. But this agent, she's very funny. Oh, yeah. They're supposed to be friends with everybody. You know what I mean? That's kind of their deal. Right. That right? is my deal. I'm either your friend or your worst enemy and Ooh. nothing in between. Oh. You still salty Ricky Bennett didn't join your agency, Barbara? Oh, come on now. I was just trying to help a brother out. It's not my fault that he doesn't understand the rules of the game. Oh, Shep, you know, I got a serious question for you. Um, what? Why can't you be more of a leader like MP? <laughs> why are you going to be so gosh darn selfish all the time, <laughs> P? Man, anyone looking up to that bum now? Good luck leading the team when you buried on the bench. Ooh, oh. <laughs> but you know who I really feel sorry for? Like, Ooh. honestly, his girl. Oh, <laughs> all these NBA right. players. She stuck with that clown? I mean, realistically, man, he probably got a whole closet full of cardigans and pleated khakis. <laughs> <laughs> She'll figure it out. Mm. Speaking of, yo, Mila, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, I yeah. am not touching that one. Yo, this episode is going to do numbers, bro. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Shep, any final words you want to say to MP? You know, before the camera dies? Because we're making this fire content right now. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I just want to say... Your game's trash, oh, oh. your agent's trash, mm. your girl's trash, mm. and you're trash. Mm. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Girl, agent, no. <laughs> I think you got that covered, buddy. And mm. the next time I see you, I'm going to tell you that to your face. Other than that, you know, uh, just wishing you many blessings, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know what? That's real classy. Why would he even mention me? Because he's Shep. Does he need a reason? Yeah. No, he does not. Clown. Look, this means nothing. It's just some loud mouth being a loud mouth. But you do have that Top Takes Daily interview tomorrow, and they are absolutely going to want to ask about this, given yeah, how I inflammatory it was. Like I said, it's just, it's, it's no big deal. It is no big <sighs> deal, but we are going to obviously need to strategize your response, okay? So meet me at the business hub after you finished up here, and we'll go over whatever it is we need to go over. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, Ash. Always keep me in the loop, no matter how painful it is. Thank you. It's literally what you pay me to do. But, yeah. See you in a bit.